Of course, Jeff Keeley, who's the main man behind the Spike TV Video Game Awards. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming out. Definitely. Anytime. It's, uh, every year, it's amazing how you guys go bigger and better with right. more re exclusives and everything. How do you guys do it? You know, we have great partners uh, amongst the game publishers. And the thing is, I think people have a good experience one year, and then they come back the next year and say, we want to do more things. I mean, I'm already working on stuff for VGAs next year. So it's, it's, it's really heartening to me to see how the industry supports us across platforms, across companies. They bring us amazing assets, amazing surprises. We've got some killer surprises in the show tonight, and just some awesome trailers. So I'm really excited about the show, and it's great to hear that the gamers like what we're doing, because I think sometimes the gamers always, you know, they're skeptical on the VGAs, right? But now we've got, I mean, Uncharted and Batman and other surprises in the show. We've got Neil Patrick Harris hosting, who is, you know, one of the best hosts in the business. So we're really proud of this show, and we cannot wait for people to watch it. Now, of course, this year it's being held at the LA Convention Center. How was it to work, move into this huge space, of course, that has such history with the E3 and the games and the gaming industry? Yeah, it's, that's what's cool about it, right? When we were looking at venues, we said, hey, we could do the LA Convention Center, and you know, I see the VGAs as being an event on par with E3. There's E3 in June, and then there's the VGAs in December. So it's natural for us to be here in the home of E3. When you see our set and our venue, I mean, it's absolutely mind-blowing what we've done with 3D augmented reality technology, which I, I don't think people really understand what we're doing until they see it in the show. Uh, but yeah, it's great to be here at the LACC. Now, of course, there's a lot of big games that are up for Game of the Year. Huge, all worthy by far. But what's your personal favorite? What do you think maybe is, is the one that's got a little bit of an edge? Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to say. It's been a really great year, I'd say, overall. You know, Red Dead was phenomenal. I love what Rockstar did with that. Mass Effect was amazing. Uh, you know, I, and I really loved, uh, you know, also, I'd say, you know, I mean, Halo, God, God of War just blew me away. I mean, as a PS3 game, that's the game to get this year, and Black Ops was huge. But it, out of all of them, I'd probably pick, uh, I'd probably pick Red Dead as probably my, you know, one that has a bit of an edge. But Mass Effect kind of right behind that, if I had to rank them, and God of War is up there. They, it's a really tight race for Game of the Year this year. Yeah. Now, so what are you playing right now, personally? Just I've been working on the show, so I haven't been playing much. I played Assassin's Creed Brotherhood through, which I was really happy with a couple weeks ago. That was probably the last game I had a chance to play. Um, and now I've been working on the show, so I can't wait to get started uh, on all the new games next year. It's going to be a great year in 2011, as you guys will see when you watch the show. Jeff, have a great show, man. Thanks very much, man. Appreciate it.